Hi, I'd like to continue the discussion of parse. And, uh, you know, in the last couple of videos, I set up just a really simple parse page that uploads posts to our parse app on the web and displays them in the browser. And you can see here, I've got my form. Um, you know, we can create these posts here. You can see at the bottom, I have some posts that say GeoPoint. I was experimenting with uh, adding GeoPoints to Parse, and Parse can store those, and we'll, we'll talk about those in the future. Um, at the top here, I have my login and logout form, right, and my sign-up form. And uh, what I'd like to do in this video is I'd like to address the login and logout and uh, show the currently logged in user. So right now, you know, I'm, I'm actually logged in as one of the user accounts, but you can't tell which user is logged in right now. So how do, how do we show, you know, who's logged in currently? Okay. So to understand this, you have to realize that uh, when you're logged in on a computer with Parse, then Parse creates a session and only one person is logged in with that session on that particular, you know, web page, okay? So when you visit that page, there's only one, you know, one login at a time, okay? So right now, um, this user test is currently logged in here, and you can see that, you know, I have one session showing in Parse. And we never even really need to check the session. That's no big deal. Um, you know, but I'm just showing this to you know, to kind of show that that I'm logged in. And if I um, if I were to go to the site here and, and click the logout button, when I go to parse here and I refresh, um, actually maybe I gotta go to session here and refresh. Oh, let me refresh the page like this, right, with command R. Yeah, you can see now it shows zero logged in sessions, right? Or so there's zero sessions going on. And if I go back here and I, I log in with my password there and submit, now I'll be logged in. And then over here, parse should show me one session. Okay, so there's one session and now I'm logged in, right? And this is the active session, whatever that means, right? So, um, I mean, whatever this stuff in here means, right? So, what we want to do, though, is we want to show that you're logged in. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I want to show that you're logged in on the actual site, right? So here's what we're going to do, okay? Inside Parse, they have a really simple mechanism to show this, right? Um, let me find my JavaScript here, the top of the JavaScript tag. Yeah, so there's my script tag there. And there I got my Parse stuff. And then I got my login and my submit button for the login and log out, right? And then right here, um, what I want to do, what I want to do here is I want to check whether you're logged in. Now, realize that uh, in the script tag here, the script is all run once. And when we call, you know, parse initialize and var post equals parse object extend, right? You know, here this calls on parse initialize one time. And then this line creates a variable with whatever value, and it just does that once. And then down here, you know, when we have these functions working with jQuery, they run, this runs one time, but it creates an event listener, and the event listener contains this function here, this block of code that will be executed maybe at some point in the future, you know, when you click the, the logout button, right? So, you know, what I want you to understand is that... Uh, Anything that you put in the script tag is essentially just run one time, unless it's a function or some block of code that might be deferred and called in the future, okay? So, um, you know, so what we're going to do here is we're going to just check to see if you're logged in, and I'm going to make a function to do that. Check login, okay? And then we'll want to call this function once when our page loads. So I'll, I'll call on it this way. Okay, so I've written a block of code here, and then I've put a call to that function down below. So, you know, this will load, we'll define the function, and then we'll call on the function here, okay? And I'm putting this in a function because if you log in and log out, then we might want to check again, right? And so having the code in this block of function, in, in this code block for this function allows us to uh, reuse that block of code, 
Okay. So, uh, so here's my login or my check login function. And what do I want to do is this. I want to say um, if, uh, right, so I'll write my if statement there. And so if, this, if the code inside the parentheses here is true, then we execute the block of code in the code block. So what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to say parse.user.current, okay? And what this does is it gives us um, a user object if you're currently logged in. And if you're not logged in, then it gives us an unidentified, an undefined, or a nil, or a false, right? It just pretty much gives us a nothing, right? So this will be false if we're not logged in, and true, you know, because in JavaScript, anything but zero and false are, are true, okay? So any value, so if this returns any value, like an object or something, then that's actually true, okay? So if, if parse user current, that means you're logged in, and then we can do something with that. So we could say um, console.log, and we'll say uh, logged in. How about that, right? And then maybe we can we want to get the the username from this too. So maybe we'll say parse.user.current.get username okay I know it looks a little funky but uh, you know this is the if when we get this block right here this is pretty much the, the the current user object and it's a parse object like the you know just like the post object down here and then we can use get to get one of the properties okay and I want to get the username property and our um, we can check that right so my um, my user account here has a a username property so we should be able to get the name there okay let's give it a try so we'll go to our site here and then I'll I'll refresh and it says logged in test because test is the user that's logged in okay and uh, I have another user here called hello so let's try and log in as hello right so I'll type in hello and I'll submit and it says login success. And if I refresh the page, it says hello, you know, logged in hello, right? So it's telling me that hello is logged in. So why don't we take this and let's, as a last step for this example, why don't we display the username at the top of the page? Okay. So here's what we'll do I'll scroll up to the top of my HTML document. And at the very top here, I'm going to put in a. Um, I'll put in a div here, and I'll give it an ID name. Oops. And I'll call it um, username. Um, let's call it uh, current user. How about that? Okay. So, you know, the current username will appear inside this div. So it'll just be plain text at the top of the page. So uh, so now we've got, you know, check in, right, or check login. And then instead of doing the console log message, why don't we, um, why don't we say um, jQuery current user dot HTML equals, and then we'll, you know, essentially what we want to do is this right here. Okay, so we want to say, you know, put the username in there. And maybe I want to say, you know, I want to say user colon in front of it. So we'll put the quotes here and we'll say user colon and the plus sign. Okay. And uh, just as an added feature, if you log out, then we should check the user again to see who's logged in, right? And that'll actually, you know, kind of go back up here and do this. And if you're not logged in, right, we'll add another line of code after the if statement. So if you're not logged in, we'll do the code here. And, you know, if this was to be called after you logged out, then we would end up doing this block of code, right? And maybe we'll say... 
current user dot html is the empty string <clears throat> so that'll that'll empty that and there won't be any user at the top of the page um, let's continue with this right so let's reuse this function again we can use this a bunch of times right so if you um, if you log in right and it's successful right you successfully logged in then you know we should check the login again and display your username at the top of the page okay and then maybe we won't need this console log message anymore because we'll have an actual representation in the browser right um, you know when you sign up then um, parse automatically logs you in so if you've signed up then you automatically get logged in and you're logged in so actually you know if you sign in and it's a success then maybe we should check login again and then it should display your username at the top of the page right so let's save that and we'll give it a try so I'm gonna refresh this and it says user hello right and then I'll log out and then it removes that because you're not logged in and then if I log in as test and submit then it says username is test, right? And then if I, I could sign up and add a new user here and it would show up at the top also, okay? So that's how you handle, um, you know, user login. The last couple videos covers pretty much the whole thing there. Um, there's another feature that we want to do is when we create a post, we maybe want to associate that post with a user and I'll do that in, a, in the next video. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching.